In this video, I'll share three Microsoft Power Toys utilities I find helpful in everyday use. These are Always on Top, Color Picker, and Mouse Utilities. If you don't have Microsoft Power Toys installed yet, you can open your browser and search for Download Microsoft Power Toys. Then click on this first link, which will take you to Microsoft Power Toys page. Then click on Install Power Toys. This will take you to GitHub. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, skipping over the release notes. Then click on the first link here with the EXE extension. And once the download is complete, click to open. Since I already have Power Toys installed on my computer, it's giving me the option to uninstall. But for you, you should see the option to install. And it should be straightforward from here. I'll drop the link to this page in the description below to make it easier for you. Always on top. There are times when you want to pin an application window to always be on top of the screen, even as you click away to another application. Let's say I'm doing some research for my next vacation. I want to cost compare a few different options. So I'm using my web browser for research and a calculator to add up the costs. Of course, I want to capture my findings in a notes application. So I'm using OneNote in this example, but it can be anything. Since I'm just working off my laptop, things are looking pretty crowded. As soon as I click on the notes application, it covers parts of the web page and I can't see important information like the airlines. So I'm going to make this web browser to stay always on top by using the shortcut Windows Control T. Now, even as I capture notes in my notes app, I can still see the full web page. By the way, we can apply always on top to multiple windows as well. For example, I'll apply always on top to the calculator. Now these both windows will always remain, even if I move other windows around in the background. And of course we can remove the always on top by using the same keyboard shortcut, Windows Control T. I realized that we can use the window snap feature to arrange these windows on the screen and that might work well as in the case here, but always on top just gives us another option to be able to work with multiple windows, especially if we're on a small screen. So to activate this, let's open up Power Toys. This can be found in the window system tray as well. Then from the utility pane, choose always on top. Then make sure this utility is enabled. We see that the activation shortcut is set to Windows Control T as default, but we can change it if you want by hitting this pencil icon and pressing the new shortcut keys on our keyboard. I'm going to cancel out of this. We noticed in the earlier example that the windows that are always on top have the blue border around it. We can turn off the border or change the color to what we want. Also, we can turn off the sound when pinning a window. I'll keep that on. And we can choose to exclude application from pinning on top. I don't know why you would, but you can list the apps in this box, one per line. Color Picker. For any creatives out there, being able to identify and match color for anything you see on the screen is super helpful. Many creative applications feature the color picker tool, but they often limit color sampling to objects within its own app. For example, within PowerPoint, if I want to change the color of this oval, I can only sample colors that are on this slide. I can't even sample color on the other slides that I see on the thumbnails. As soon as I move the cursor off the slide, the eyedropper becomes inactive. But if I activate the Power Toys color picker by hitting the shortcut Windows Shift C, then I can sample any color on the screen. It shows the hex value as the color rests on the different colors. And when we click to select the color, it brings up this window that shows additional details. So in our current example, if we want to apply this new color to the oval, we would simply copy the hex value to the clipboard then go back to our shape right click, 
choose fill, then select more fill colors and just paste it in. Going back to the Power Toys color picker, let's sample a random color to bring up our dialog box. What we see on the left are all the recent colors we've sampled, and on top are showing the contiguous shade range for this color. So we can choose to go darker or lighter. Okay, next up is mouse utilities. There are three different utilities built in. Find my mouse, mouse highlighter, and crosshair. Find my mouse. I use a wireless mouse, and sometimes there are delays or latencies. Pair this with a large ultra-wide monitor, sometimes I lose track of where my mouse cursor is. By enabling Find My Mouse, I can either press left control key twice or shake my mouse to show a spotlight around the mouse cursor. You can of course change the activation method in the Mouse Utilities section of Power Toys. I find this utility to be helpful when I'm presenting and sharing my screen. If I want to bring attention to a specific point in a dense or content-heavy document, I can spotlight my cursor. If you use Microsoft Teams, you'll need to share your screen versus Windows for the spotlight effect to show. Mouse Highlighter. We can show a color halo around the mouse when we left or right click anywhere on the screen. This can be useful if you're recording a tutorial. You can change the appearance of the halo, like color, opacity, and radius for both the left and right mouse click here. The last utility is the mouse pointer crosshairs. This will display a crosshair centered around your mouse pointer. You can activate using a default shortcut or change it. And as with the highlighter, you can change the appearance and behavior of the crosshair here. Gotta be honest, I don't personally use this last one and haven't found a use case for it, but I suppose if you're visually impaired, this can be helpful. Anyway, these are some of the Microsoft Power Toys utilities you can start using today to help with your productivity. I have two other videos that go narrow and deep into other Power Toys utilities, like Fancy Zones and Power Rename. So be sure to check these out next. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and learned something today, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks and see you in the next video.